But with all these people, how did it work recording? That was tricky. That was real tricky. When we did the four songs in Vive, we were all together playing at the same time. And the thing about it that was inspiring when I listened to it was nobody stepped on each other's toes, which was monumental because there were no collisions, there was no traffic. Um, it's, it's a brilliant sonic life force with all these people coming in and out of play on every, any given song. So then I made plans. I tried to figure out how to best get that done to maintain that live attack with 12 people. And we set it up where six of us played in Tucson, the new songs, and recorded it live, and then sent it to Denmark for those to do the same thing, get together all in one afternoon. Don't work on it, just do it live uh, and together. And whatever it is, it is. And sure enough, it worked. And then we had to mix it so it sounded. Some of the mixes are rough mixes. But the main, the important ingredient was that it sounded like the full bang on every track. But it, it must be hard to keep track of who's doing what. And if you like certain parts, you can't leave anything out if it's... No. No, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's like... When it's supposed to happen, you know, when anything is supposed to happen, it'll happen. The first take is the best take. Well, we've always been kind of that anyway, over the years. From the very beginning. Of, of this group of people, these 12 people, who was most close to you when it came to deciding on the songs, on what parts should be in, what should be left out? Or is it all up to you in the end? No, it's not up to me at all. It's uh, just by age, I'm maybe the coordinator or uh, the point man, but it's, uh, it's a community, so maybe I can sense when things are slowing down and to get something done at, at some point and I could spark it to get it done quicker or move it along or sometimes slow it down but it's not like how you might imagine it there's no captain and crew wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's more communal I, it's important to have everybody's input as they naturally would do it, as living, breathing, intelligent creatures who are fine players to just jump in there and they know what to do. I think the only thing is it's that holds us together kind of is a there's a like-minded attack, a way of dealing with music, uh, being able to improvise and work with whatever's happening, the point of spontaneity. And then that keeps us all in the brotherhood or sisterhood, I think. How do you, how do you imagine this will go on, evolve? What will happen? Oh, I never with think of that. No? No, you can, but I, that's bad luck. I just let it happen for now and see how long the season, it determines its own season. Okay, to be more concrete then, what's, what's next for this group? Till how far does the agenda reach? Oh well, I gotta do. I gotta finish this solo record because I don't think I can make a living with a 12-piece band. So I just want to finish up my solo stuff and have them both out there. Right. Well, good luck with that, and thanks a lot. Yeah. Pleasure, Tom.